Every spring, as temperatures rise, Yellowstone cutthroat trout in Henry's Lake get the urge to spawn and begin a short but interesting journey. Prior to the dam being built on the Henry's Lake outlet in the early 1900s, cutthroats spawned in the lower ends of tributaries in sufficient numbers to support the population. The new dam flooded these historical spawning areas and the Idaho Department of Fish and Game acquired a hatchery on the lake to offset the loss in spawning habitat. Now, as many as 5,000 cutthroat trout will travel up the ladder on Hatchery Creek, over 15 lift pools to their end destination, the spawning shed. Here, male and female fish are sorted and placed in separate bins. When fish are ready to spawn, hatchery staff and numerous volunteers use an air compressor to remove eggs from the females while the milt from the males is released with a gentle squeeze. Fish that are done spawning are then released through a tube that returns them to the lake. When sufficient reproductive material has been collected, eggs and milt are mixed and fertilized eggs are produced. Eggs are washed and cleaned, then counted to ensure production goals have been met. The eggs are raised on location until a developed eye is visible. They are then shipped to Mackey State Fish Hatchery to be raised until they reach three inches in length. These fish will be returned to Henry's Lake in September and will help support the important recreational fishery. Because of the many habitat improvement projects on the tributaries of Henry's Lake, natural reproduction is again contributing to the population. This has allowed hatchery production to be reduced by a half a million fish in recent years. In the coming years, the Idaho Department of Fish and Game and its partners will continue efforts to restore habitat in important tributaries to further natural reproduction. Stocking rates will also be adjusted to ensure we meet the size and catch rate goals established in the Fish Management Plan for Henry's Lake.